I love spending quality time with my kids, and sometimes we do it by playing video games together, but there's a lot of games out there that are extremely difficult for my 6 year old and even soon my 2 year old when she starts playing when she's a little bit older. As a dad with limited time on my hands and also dad with small kids, we took a look and sat down at what games are easy just to pick up and play. Or maybe you haven't played a game in a while and you're looking for something that's pretty easy that you can just kind of get back into. I'm Craig with Out of Control Games and this is our list of top 10 games with an easy mode for the Nintendo Switch. Sea of Stars was an indie darling in 2023 and this game is absolutely fantastic. So why is it so bottom of our list? Well, you can actually modify the settings to be extremely easy where after battles your HP is just instantly recovered or for instance you can barely take any damage at all. The game is absolutely fantastic. We recommend it if you're looking for an RPG that's just a simple great time or if you have a kid around 10 years old or older that's looking for their first RPG to really get into this is a great game to start with. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is one of those games that's just super relaxed and chill. You can just go on missions, break bricks, but you know what? To be perfectly honest with you, any Lego game is going to be that way. We would recommend Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga because it takes a traditional Lego formula that's been around since oh, the GameCube era and just makes it a full 3D open world environment with a third person camera view. Now. I do still love the classic games like the Harry Potter and the Incredibles, but if you're looking for something that's going to be huge, epic to play with your kids, or maybe just have your kids play together, LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga is going to be a great choice. I love the Ori games, and Ori of the Blind Forest is a great introduction to the Metroidvania platform style if you or your kid is looking to get into that. And Ori of the Blind Forest even has a very easy mode. The very easy mode literally makes you take almost no damage. In fact, it makes the game super easy to play, extremely easy to enjoy, and I totally recommend just throw it on very easy and just relax and enjoy this game. Did you know Mario Kart 8 has a auto drive and driving assist feature? That's right, you can turn this on at any time during the pause menu. All you have to do is just pause the game and then L and R will let you cycle through auto drive and driving assist. Auto drive is exactly what it is. Literally at 4 I turned this on and my daughter at 4 was winning 50cc races with not even hitting the A button to go. Then the driving assist feature is also great because as soon as they get to the edge of the curves it turns around and re-corrects them. This is a great feature for anybody that has kids that are little that want to play Mario Kart with them or if you have a spouse or somebody who hasn't played Mario Kart and say I don't know the Nintendo 64 era then yeah this is great for the turn on. and is much much better than the Wii's auto driving driving assist feature. Rainbow Billy was a surprise to us when we discovered it because it's not your traditional turn-based RPG. It's a role-playing adventure where you literally go and just save the world by filling it with color. However, the battles are different. The battles are done through the power of conversation than just simply attacking. This takes out the entire strategy, HP, you know, MP, attack, defense. Just focus it on the conversation with the world around you. This game is super deep and impactful and doesn't feel educational at times, but it really can be. So we definitely recommend this, especially if you have young readers. But more importantly, it's awesome in the fact that you don't have to focus on leveling up and building all this huge party and definitely check this one out if you're looking for a different kind of RPG your kids can play. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze in its own right is a difficult game, but with the Funky Kong mode, this game is even easier than it's ever been before. Funky is awesome to play as. He takes everything that you love about Dixie, Diddy, and Cranky Kong and combines it into one character with extra hit points that you can almost just not die at all in fact. It is so easy to play this game as Funky Kong. Now you still have to go throughout the entire world, traverse, and collect everything on your own, but Funky's abilities makes it so much easier to do, especially his flutter jump that just is awesome to play around with. If you've beaten Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on the Wii U, definitely give it another try on the Switch with Funky Kong mode. Or if your kids are wanting to play, 
this is a fun mode to turn on. Disney's Illusion Island is a great game that my wife and I got to play with our daughter last year. And what's so awesome about it is you get to choose the number of lives you want to start with or just put invisibility mode on. It doesn't affect gameplay except for the fact that when you're invisible with the iron heart, you literally can't die. In fact, enemies can't even touch you at all. You just get hit and turn invisible. What else makes this mode so great is that if you touch spikes, you just turn invisible again and you can't even follow the pits because there are none to fall into. To. If you do fall into a pit, it literally just brings you back onto the stage. The game is awesome and it's funny and it's hilarious at times. It's so full of character, that Disney charm that we missed from the 90s. It's a great game to pick up. Definitely put it on your buy list if you haven't already. Much like Illusion Island, Yoshi's Crafted World has a mellow mode where you just can't die or can't even get hit. Fall into a pit, you just come right back on the stage. It's a great great game to play with two players especially if the fact that this game is so full of charm and is literally a kid's game now if you definitely want some humor and i specifically say adult humor then there's some jokes you can totally make while playing this game it's like collecting crabs well guess what you now have crabs this one is definitely on our two stream list if we haven't done it already by the time you're watching this video just because there's so many adult jokes you can make but yeah, the game's totally cool for kids too. Then of course there is LEGO Fortnite. The game is free and we were bound to talk about this at some point. Uh, basically LEGO Fortnite is Minecraft. I don't know any other way to explain it. Uh, rather than shooting players, you collaborate on building missions and just going out in the world and doing things. Uh, you know, to be totally honest with you, I dived into this for like an hour. And it wasn't for me, but that's also because I'm not into Minecraft anymore. It's outside of my generation. But if my kids were to play it, I would totally play it with them. It's not a super intense game either. You still have the building mechanics, so you still have to focus on that. But at this point, I've accepted that any 10-year-old on the planet will be better at Minecraft than I am. But of course, it's a top 10 list on the internet, and so we have to have honorable mentions for it to feel complete. We have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and you can just set all the CPU characters to level 1. They're not extremely difficult, you still have to have a little bit of skill, but level 1 CPUs on Final Destination is basically what I did whenever I was trying to unlock all the characters in Melee. Then we also have Sonic Superstars. This one is a little chaotic at times because it's a 4 player Sonic the Hedgehog game. You can only imagine how fast and chaotic that will get at times. Which is why we definitely don't recommend it for a party or if you have kids that are a little bit younger maybe play two player or sonic and tails mode so that way sonic can still use tails in the flutter like sonic 2 and 3. I, you get what i'm saying if you've ever played an old school sonic game and of course number one would be minecraft i mean basically the game has a no death mode just a explore mode or what is it called creative mode that's right it's been that long since i played minecraft but you know what minecraft is such a fun game to experience with friends and family i have played numerous sessions with brothers-in-law sister-in-laws and even kids from our old youth group the game is timeless and you know what i probably have a feeling in the next year or two i'm going to end up playing with my kids so what games on the Nintendo Switch do you think are extremely easy or have a great easy mode that kids might enjoy? Share it in the comments. We can't wait to hear what you think. And don't forget to make sure to like the video, subscribe, all the fun YouTube stuff. We can't wait to see you next time. And don't forget, catch us for one of our live streams. And we get it as parents, life, kids, work, it all can be out of control sometimes. Don't let your gaming be.